this is a Polaroid question. So we have a beam of vertically polarized light incident normally on a polarizing filter. This filter can be rotated so that it is always in a plane perpendicular to the beam. Okay, so we have the polarized light like this. Okay, they are already polarized vertically. So by the time it reaches here, this is the direction of oscillation of the wave. Okay, the transmission axis is also initially vertical. All right, so the filter is first rotated clockwise by an angle of 30 degree so that the transmitted light waves have an intensity of I30. And then we rotate clockwise by another 30 degree. What is the new intensity of the transmitted light? Okay, so first thing, I want to just make sure that we know how to use the Miller's Law equation. I is equal to I0 cos square theta. Okay, so you can look at it this way. To better understand this equation, I'm going to draw two diagrams. This is the filter. This is the light entering. This is the light exiting. So incident is I0, transmitted is I. You can also call this IT for transmitted so that you are a bit less lost, but most of the books, they will just write I. Okay, so incident is I0, transmitted is IT. This is the side view. You view the Polaroid from the side. Okay, then I want to draw front view. Now I find this useful because, to be honest, I'm not a very visual person. <laughs> so I learn primarily through words and equations. So 2, 3D drawing is really not my forte, but I can draw 2D. Okay, so if let's say this is the original vertically polarized light with intensity I0, if I look from the front, I can still see that vertically polarized light, but I also need to check in with the transmission axis. You can see your transmission axis is slightly tilted. So this is your transmission axis. And this one is your theta. Okay, so this theta here, is the angle between the wave and the transi transition axis. Angle between the incident wave and transmission axis. So a lot of times when they start rotating, we get confused. So it's good to just remind ourselves this angle, we have to be very strict. It has to be from where the wave is to where the transmission axis is. So first I rotate by the angle 30. So this is number one. So the first rotation, first rotation, theta is 30. Okay, so how do I know? Because it says the transmission axis is initially vertical. So this was your wave. This is your transmission axis, dot, dot, dot. They are both vertical. First rotation, I will rotate my axis so that it is rotated clockwise by 30 degrees. So dot, 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 dot. Okay, I mean, my 30 degree is not going to lower 30. Hang on. Okay, so we will rotate by 30 degree. Okay? So, rotated clockwise by 30 degree. Then I can use the equation I is I naught cos square theta. But in this case, they say that the transmitted light is I30. So, I will put I30 here is I naught cos square 30 degree okay so a PSA here for you let me pull out my friend Casio the calculator here's the PSA when we write like this what we're actually saying is we are taking square of cos so it's cos 30 square Okay, uh, square the whole thing, uh, you press like that for safety because it depends on the setting of your calculator this is 3 over 4 
So I'll write this one as I30 is 3 over 4 I0. This is first rotation. But it rotate again, right? Because it says here that it's rotated clockwise by a further 30 degree. Okay. So then this was your wave. Your incident wave has never changed because there's no second filter. I just rotate this first filter. So if I rotate further 30 degree, it means that, let's say this is the incident wave, it went from here to 30 degree, so maybe somewhere here, and then rotate a further 30 degree. So rotate more, another 30. So when I rotate a further 30 degree, meaning I push it out for another 30 degree. So this new axis of transmission, I'll draw this in purple, is 60 degree. Okay, so where is the incident wave? Still here, this is incident. I not. So we will still use the equation I is equal to I not cos square theta. The only difference here is this new I not, let's say I call this I60 because already rotated 60, is I not cos square 60 degree. But cos square 60 is 1 over 4 because cos 60 is half. Or you press calculator, lah, delete the 3, put 6. Nah, 1 over 4. So this will be 1 over 4 I0. But they want I0 in terms of I30. So I need to substitute, I mean I60 in terms of I30. So I need to substitute my I0. Alright, so actually oh, let me teach you a hack. The easiest way to solve the substitution is actually to divide the equation because the I0 can cancel out or you substitute also can. Whichever is faster for you, I guess. So I'm going to take equation 1 there by equation 2. I30 is equal to I0 times 3 over 4, 3 over 4 I0 divided by I60 1 over 4 I0. So the I0 cancels and the 4 cancels. So at the end, you will have I60 brought upwards or 3 I60 is I30. So the transmitted intensity, new intensity is I30 divided by 3 or 0 0.33 I30. So the answer is B. Okay. So what did we learn here? We learned that whenever we use this um, Mellor's Law equation, we have to visualize carefully for ourselves what is the rotation. So the first rotation we rotate once, the second rotation we rotate further. This A lot of this is like comprehension question. Sometimes they will ask or make the question a bit more complicated, but you just got to trust yourself, draw it out to figure out what they want and then solve accordingly. Okay, there are quite a few past year questions since 2022, so you should try them out.